Welcome back to Suladan Plays Bendy and the Dark Revival. Last time we made our way back to the mansion for some stupid reason and we've been told to go meet Wilson. We also went and ran an errand. And we found a cup. It was in the fountain. I don't know why, but it was. Also, I don't know whether this is the direction I should be going. I don't have a map. I was told to meet him in the basement. Yeah, downstairs, that, that's not, that's, that's likely not the direction I need to be going. Hmm. That's the way I came from. It's probably one of these doors that was shut before. Oh yeah, I have limited stamina. I also have very low health. I'm going to die if something so much as sneezes in my general direction. Laboratory. Not a teleporter, just a respawn. And canvas, easels. Should I be concerned? So help me if he's the source of the glowing ink, I'm going to be aggravated. Rainbow ink. He has invented rink. Why? It's beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong. Compared to the sepia tones of the rest of the game, this rainbow stuff stands out like a sore thumb, and it's beautiful. Like, just look at that. It raises so many questions, though. Oh, I love the contrast, though. Now we're reaching an area that's more painted, more colorful. And then it ends. Is that a subtle nudge, nudge, wink, wink, point of no return, end of game, or just we got stuff to do? Can I, uh, can I maybe have some health? Thank you for coming all this way. I don't trust you. The ink demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, yeah, you're trying to destroy he must be dethroned. I mean, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. You're going to turn him into a Cast color cartoon. Cast out the demon. And put a new deity in his place. Stronger. Oh no. More powerful. You're going full CG. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate An AR weapon. VR ink demon. Come. Made of multicolor ink. Let me show you my I'm so concerned creation. Isn't he beautiful? Simple but elegant. A treasure. Dudley. Powerful beyond anyone. I'm concerned. The ink demon will fall. And we can have peace at last. Or you'll create something even work. worse. But it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All of the factors must be perfect. The right design. The right science and the Why right am I? soul. What? At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With Told your you. soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, 
industrial genius, business tycoon. For years, I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lowly son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, keeps the ink demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. I'm gonna get kicked into it instead and things are gonna go really wrong. No, not this time. Called it. Okay, well this isn't going to end well for anybody. Oh look, an arm. And a leg. And some other assorted... Well, uh, I remembered that the jammers had that rainbow color around them too. Boy, it'd be nice if that was an upgrade. Boy, it'd be nice if there was any loot in there. Oh. Hooray, I'm healed. I'm concerned about what's going to come out. Subject accepted. That's not a good sign. Don't you open it, me. We gonna die. Soup. I decided to go for a walk this morning. Okay, listen later. I gotta remember how to do this. It's been a bit. And... Click. I decided to go for Ready. a walk this morning. Took a little stroll down to the park. Enjoyed the warm sun for a while. Found a quiet bench. Even grabbed a hot dog. It's been ages since I've done that. Tessa would kill me if she knew I've been off my diet. When I got back to the office, I stopped by the animation department and said hello to the troops. My gosh, they're getting younger every day. Neither that or I'm just getting older. It all made me realize time is moving on. The hard struggles don't seem as dire as they used to. Life has other value. I think I'll go home early today. Maybe I'll even pick up a hot dog for Tessa. Hmm. All right. Search. Search. Boy, there's a lot of soup. So much soup. And not a single loot to be found. Oh, well, I'm well fed. I am really concerned for what I've just unleashed upon the world. Big rainbow colored arm gonna pop out of the wall. Or he gonna pop out of this thing that. No. That's a no. You were birthed from the darkest shadows. Or. It's time to ask the question. Uh. Who pulled the lever? I pulled the lever! It was a horrible idea because I'm probably bringing that other thing to life. Nope, I'm activating jammers. Great. Yep. Yep, there's the rainbows. We have created an abomination. For science! We never stopped and asked whether we should, we merely asked if we could. And the answer was, uh, we shouldn't have. Fully charged pipe required. Am I invulnerable while I do that? Probably not. Hey, uh. Okay, so I need to get him to smack the thing. Which then opens up the... That. Which then lets me do this. Probably should have gotten him to, sh to break all of them first. 
Uh, why are either why am I strong or why are they weak? I don't know. Hey, Ra, what are you throwing at me? Hey, go ahead and break this one open for me while you're at it, bud. You mind? Ow. 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 Fine, I'm just gonna break this one then. Can I loot y'all? Nope. Oh, yes. Um. How about no? You stay put. Uh. I think being far enough away just makes it so that I can... We you hit the thing? Oh, for heaven's sake. Maybe I'll position. How do I get him to hit it? Ow. I'm... Hmm. Hmm. I am having issues with this. Ow. I'm just going to lose here. Partly because I needed to rub my nose. But what? Can't, how do... There you go. There we go. I don't know why you were making such a pain of it before. No, I cannot supercharge my pipe. I guess I just do this. Boy, you is not doing great, bud. happening, so I'm just going to stand here and smack him. What happened? I was still moving, but I was also grabbed, but I don't know. Great. So he has that ability. That's wonderful. I don't know. Uh, this boss fight leaves some to be desired on its polish. I love the first phase of having to break those things and do that. But the second phase, I'm assuming that I'm supposed to just keep doing that and that he'll eventually flop over. Also, I do like that in the background music, there's a very subtle, uh, the very kind of cliche cartoony sailor music is embedded into it. Bye 
probably just enough to avoid copyright, but uh, it, assuming that is copyrighted, I don't know. I just associated with Popeye, so I don't know if it actually is associated with him or if just I've heard it there enough times that... Okay, gonna go ahead and break this one right out of the gate. Actually, I may go ahead and just get him to bust all of them. Oh my nose, there's something. Just... Oh. It's, when I talk and when I breathe, there's something in the right side there that's itching and being a pain. There we go. Go ahead and bust this one up. Bust this one. Because now, I don't have to wait on those gears anymore. I can just do this and rinse, repeat. Get the two ones at the front. Then I should have a wave of enemies. Leave the enemies. invincible while that's happening which brings up other issues because you're having to make the player invincible so that the thing can be done so that it can be done repeatedly so that the invincibility kind of stands out Okay, so as much as I would love to just keep repeating this, I find that I am going to have to look this up just to make sure that I am supposed to brute force attack him and there's not some other mechanic that I'm just not. I really don't want to look it up. Oh, yeah, just I was doing it completely wrong and would have never won. Good to know. That is somewhat unfortunate. And unfortunate both like design-wise and for telegraphing. But because of the fact that hitting him caused him to flash, implying for all intents and purposes that I was dealing damage, I would have assumed that I just need to keep hitting him. And if not for the time constraints of YouTube, I would have just continued trying to beat him that way. There's a specific attack that you have to counter in order to deal damage to him, and beyond that, he is invulnerable. I would have probably, just by sheer dumb luck, eventually figured this out. But, uh, yeah, that's an oops. That's a bit of an oops. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Swing and a miss. And a miss. And a miss. Thank you. Okay, do that. Smack you, smack you, smack you, smack you, smack you. And do that. Go ahead and get this one. That's a big gear. And do this. Boom!
Can you not? I want my loot. This is the part I wouldn't have figured out, is that he's basically invulnerable right now, and hitting him does no good. See? That right there. And I should have figured it out because he is flashing white, which in most games would imply invulnerability. So I'm, you know, a little unclear, but partly due to my own fault. This is the attack you're waiting for. And this exposes Wilson. He's still alive in there. Oh yes, and he's very unhappy. And then probably in a lot of pain. <laughs> I love boss fights that just amount to me dodging. Because I love mobility and being slippery and just, you know, luring people around. There's a reason that I was a bard main. Chase the bard, lose the game. Gotcha. Okay, you look upset. I can't imagine why. I'm a very low health. I thought I had more health. He does a lot of damage. <laughs> Ow. I don't know what you did, but it hurt. I'm gonna smack you even though it ain't gonna hurt you. Now he's gonna go to the middle of the room and do his big telegraph thing, which is kind of weird because... It... Ow. Okay, so it does hurt me. Hi, Wilson. Bye, Wilson. It'd be kind of funny if he turned peaceful without Wilson's influence. Hey, 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 I took, I took the thing out of you. What? Did you just take my legs? Did you just take my legs? Are you jealous because you've got crab legs? Um, I have questions. I have no legs. Well, I mean, I have half of them. Looks like I lost them from the knees down, and I'm bleeding ink. Can you die of ink loss? Now, Bendy, remember, I was nice to you. See, there's that nice aura that, you know, I missed from the first game. You're one to talk, bud. Or at least he admits it. Uh, aren't I not supposed to touch you with that hand? I am so confused. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I'm confused. What's happening to me? I'm echoey. I got holes in my hands. I was only supposed There's to be there.
I how's, know you're in there. How's I supposed to scoop water Deep up with the holes in my hand? Deep behind face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you. Nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. Gracious Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are wasted. <laughs> the failure of Joey Drew dies. Uh oh. I know you're in there. I see the tape. There's more. It's never too late. Just a pencil and a dream. It's not enough. You have to have 